Good afternoon and thanks for watching the Market Day Report. I'm Janet Adkison. Well, America's rural electric cooperatives convene in Washington, D.C. this week to educate policymakers on the benefits of a consumer-owned co-op business structure. Joining us now from our Washington News Bureau is Ohio's Electric Cooperatives President and CEO, Patrick O'Locken. Well, Patrick, thanks for joining us today. So why should businesses consider locating an electric, uh, electric cooperative service territory? Hi, Janet. Uh, electric cooperatives are partners with their businesses all across the country. It's, uh, it's a great place for them to, to locate because we're there, we're local, we're member-owned, we're locally controlled, and we're part of the community that you're going to be doing business in. And when you need service, we're right there. You're not going to call uh, some telemarketing center three states away. You're going to deal with local people that are going to have the solutions to the problems as you need them. And what are some of the specific programs that Ohio cooperatives have created to help foster some of that economic development? Yeah, so electric cooperatives in Ohio have partnered with the business communities and the communities that we're in right now because a lot of economic development comes from existing businesses. But we've also partnered with state and regional programs around, around Ohio to help bring new businesses into our communities as well as with the county governments and the local development agencies that are all trying to help support the the uh, vitality of the local economy. Talk a little bit more about that. How does that uh, go in line with what the, the co-ops try and do for their local business or local communities? Yeah, so each community has different needs. So we've set up grant programs where we help with site development to provide new sites that, will, uh, that are certified so if a business comes in there, they can be comfortable and confident that they're in a good location. Uh, we've also set up uh, grant programs to help local communities identify what local development needs they are, whether they be broadband, infrastructure, other things, and help them uh, move that along to improve their community as well. And why should that economic development matter to a typical electric co-op member consumer? Yeah, so our, as I said before, electric cooperatives are member owned, so we're all in this together. As we add businesses to the community, we add jobs. We also add uh, new consumers that help uh, cover the fixed costs of operating the co-op. So kind of everybody in the community wins when we can add new businesses to our local communities. And Patrick, would you say that co-op service, is it cost competitive with uh, for-profit utilities? Yeah, it sure is. So we've uh, spent a long time trying to make our electricity very cost competitive. We have some disadvantages by serving rural areas, but we are, uh, we're very competitive in the way we generate and distribute power. We're not for profit, and any extra revenues that we have go right back to our member owners anyway. So we're not only steady and stable in price, but we return whatever is left over back to the membership. All right. Well, Patrick, thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate it. Ohio's Electric Cooperatives President and CEO Patrick O'Loggin joining us from our Washington, D.C. News Bureau.